Hey, you're back here with Barry and his uh, good buddy Cole here after we had a good lunch. And, um, yeah, the food was pretty good, eh? Very good. And uh, we're just here pulling into Ricon, but uh, it didn't clear up. It's still very overcast, but heck, you'll get the gist of it. Um, I haven't been here for, I would say, uh, I'd have to ask Johnny, but I would think it's four years. Anyway, uh, they're obviously going to be paving this and uh, really making a nice road out of this whole thing here. So uh, we're just going to go and have a look-see around and see what there is to see. And maybe from there continue on to a back road, which I'm hoping will take us to uh, the other side of the peninsula. So enjoy. It's just another re restaurant. Actually, there's uh, two places to go here. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, going to let Leanne pick this up. I'm going to go to the other side first because hopefully we're going to exit from this side, okay? Actually, just stay with me. I just turned. I'm just going to turn around. And uh, what we're going to do is let all these little people enjoying these little quads. And uh, we're going to end up filming this way first. I'm going to let this car come through. And uh, very pristine. I'll say that much, though. Okay. This has really changed since the last time I've been here. So, um, I'm going to keep this going because even for me, this is a first, okay? When old Barry was here years ago, um, good gosh, you didn't have any of this like that. You just had Platy Cone, and it was a road that was pretty crappy, honestly, to get to it. And uh, this is kind of really nice. So we're going to continue on this side of it and um, stay with us, Leanne. I'll just cut what she doesn't want to use because this is really pristine. I see two people so far. Three. Three people. There was... Uh, this is really nice. I like this call. This is how a lot of the beaches were years ago in the north coast. A lot of them were this way. Very nice. That's that's the kind of sugar sand I'm used to sand. Maintain the cleanness of the beach. Good. And I hope people listen. Pretty cool, eh, bye? Gee, no, it's actually clean, bud. Very clean. And we're coming up to another... No, still got a ways to go. This is pretty impressive. So I can almost virtually guarantee you in... I don't know when, but in the future, this there will be plenty of little services offered along this stretch. I can almost guarantee it. There's too much money to be made for it not to be that way. And, uh, yeah, we're coming to the end of it now, though. I can, I can see that. This is pretty close to the end of it right here. Some folks having a good time. I'm going to get the name of the place on camera. And I'm going to circle around and finish up this one from there, okay? Arcon Ruby Restaurante y Grill. Okay. Really cool place on the beach. Sorry it's not sunnier, but I'm going to end it there. So here we are at one of the other sections adjacent about three kilometers from Playa Ricon. And we'll get this up with the rest of the video series. But it's not really, like I say, a really good day. It's not a particularly clear day. I just thought you'd want to. I'm going to get the sign. Okay, so this is adjacent. There you go. This is adjacent. Playa Arecon. Here's the parking lot. Okay, really great little place. And there you have it, okay. Uh, just Arecon Ruby. Okay, we'll catch up with you, Arecon. The other side. Bye.
Well, I know the sun's not out and you're probably getting a fair bit of wind noise, but just on the outskirts of Playa Aricón, and this is absolutely stellar beautiful, just like I remember it years ago. And um, there are sections that are, like I say, uh, well, what you're watching actually, it's amazing how much privacy is here if, if that's what a person wants or if they want larger groups there is in other sections but it's it's actually an incredible place to spend a day and uh, we ran into a few nice little hotels that were anywhere from 40 to 55 dollars a night and they look very clean so anyway uh, back in the buggy and I'm gonna see about this uh, off-roading into the other side of the peninsula hopefully before dark and we'll keep you strapped in with us. Okay, it's Barry and I'm out for now.